Lavandula angustifolia might sound like the name of an ancient Roman emperor, but it's actually the scientific name for the lavender plant. The leaves and striking blue petals of this aromatic flowering shrub are used to make lavender essential oil, an ingredient in many health and beauty products. Lavender essential oil has antiviral, antibacterial, and anti-inflammatory properties. No wonder it's long been a natural remedy for many ailments. And with its flowery fragrance and relaxant effects, it's also a common ingredient in lotions, soaps, and bath oils. Lavender is a perennial plant that begins flowering in its second year. Harvest time at this Canadian farm is in July, at the peak of the first bloom. There's a second bloom afterward, but not significant enough to warrant another harvest. Weeds like to grow at the base of lavender plants, siphoning off water and important soil nutrients. So between May and September, killing those weeds is a vital daily ritual. The weeding machine lifts the lavender stems out of the way, then blasts the weeds around the base with a death blow of hot steam. To determine the right time to harvest, the producer looks at the quantity of blooms and the color of the flowers. They should be purple-blue, on the verge of turning grayish-brown. The producer also crushes a few petals to see how much oil comes out. The harvester is specially designed for cutting lavender. Like a stylist cutting hair, it pulls the stems straight up, then snips near the base. The cut stems, about 40 centimeters long, fall onto a conveyor belt, which moves them into a tray. From there, workers manually transfer the lavender to the harvester's trailer. When the trailer is full, the harvester delivers its load to the on-site distillery. Workers load the lavender into a still, a large stainless steel vessel typically used to produce alcoholic spirits, but in this case, lavender oil. They compact as much lavender as possible into the still to prevent the formation of air pockets. The less air, the greater the oil yield. Once the still is stuffed to compacted capacity, they close it tightly and start up an oil-fired boiler. The boiler heats water into steam, which they then inject into the bottom of the still at very low pressure. Over the course of about 15 minutes, the steam slowly rises to the top of the still, heating the lavender along the way. They continue the steam for another half hour or so. This bursts the glands located primarily in the petals, to a lesser extent in the leaves and stems, releasing the oil. To collect that extracted oil, they feed cold water into a coiled pipe running through the still. When the hot steam hits that cold pipe, it condenses, transforming back into water. Only now, that water contains lavender oil. They open the sill's tap and let the water flow into a holding tank. On average, the proportions are one part lavender oil to 40 parts water. In the holding tank, over the next hour or so, the oil naturally separates and rises to the surface. At that point, they begin pumping the water to another container, stopping at the first sign of oil. What remains in the tank is the final product, pure lavender essential oil. The pumped out water is a secondary product called lavender floral water. The producer sends both products to a laboratory to be filtered. Besides selling lavender oil and floral water as ingredients to manufacturers of health and beauty products, producers often design their own lines of lavender creations for pampering the body and soul.